Hey everybody, what's going on? You guys doing all right? Okay, I hope you're all doing very well. So today I was just gonna do a kind of a fun video, uh, another highly requested video. Um, you got it, good old football cards, okay. I've had just a ton of requests to, to open up the rest of these packs, and uh, it's always a lot of fun for me to do, so um, that's what we're going to do. I've got, let's see here, I think five, nine packs left, and that's all of them. So... If you guys remember from my my uh, previous football pack openings, the reason um, I got these cards is um, it's the year you can get a Bo Jackson rookie card, and I've already pulled two from my previous videos, so um, one of them's in pretty close to mint condition. It's a beautiful card. The other one's a little off center, but. Uh, um, Again, they're they're brand new right out of the pack. So, but these are uh, 1988 tops football. Um, it's hard to believe these things are 30 years old, but uh, they are. I remember collecting these when I was a, a little boy. So, but anyway, I think most of you guys know there's a uh, stick of bubble gum in these packs, but you know. Probably not a good idea to eat 30-year-old gum, so uh, I brought me some bubble gum to chew while I uh, opened the cards, okay? But I got to thinking, since these are my last few packs, I was going to buy another box of cards and so I can do some more uh, pack openings, but I wanted you guys to let me know in the comments, you know, do you, you want me to change it up and go to basketball or baseball? Um, I love collecting all these cards so I can uh, easily switch it up. I'm probably basketball is my favorite sport. I, I love football too and baseball as well. But um, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to switch it up or um, I'll just kind of start thinking about the, the next rookie card that I'm searching for. Okay, and I'll buy a box of those and hopefully we'll get one. Okay, so we got the football cards. Bubblegum chewing. Um, of course, I'll, I'll have my uh, binaural mics to capture my voice and the, the chewing sounds. And uh, I'm going to set up my... Um, in the previous videos, I've had my pencil mic set up. But I'm going to go with uh, my new Rode mics to capture some some ear to ear sounds and some some rapper sounds okay so um let me switch everything around and i'll i'll change the camera angle and we'll we'll open up these packs and see if we can get another bo jackson rookie okay all right we'll see you guys in a minute all right you guys you ready to do this i am i'm so excited i can't wait if I get another Bo Jackson, I'm gonna, <laughs> hopefully I won't scream, but I'm gonna be pretty excited. Let's try a couple of these uh, pieces of bubble gum here and we'll, we'll get started. First pack, you guys. Let's let's get a Bo Jackson right off the bat. I told you guys earlier. I got uh, a couple of them from my earlier packs. There's the two I pulled. Um, 
this is what I was talking about earlier. You see, you see how these cards have a, a border around there. That border should be absolutely perfect. Um, this one is a lot better than this one. Okay, you see how this one's a little off center. The sides thinner than this side, so um, this one will be worth a lot more than that one. But uh, they're still both great cards. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Oops, sorry about that. My my 30-year-old gum broken half, but there it is. Did you hear it hit the floor? It <laughs> sounded like a rock. Okay, let's see what we get here. Curtis Adams. Irving Fryer. Great receiver for the Patriots. Terry Kennard. Eric Howard, Kevin Green, great linebacker, played for the Rams. Thousand Yard Club, Kurt Warner. Vinny Testaverde, I believe that's his, yep, that is Vinny's rookie card. That's a nice pull. He had a really long career. He played uh, played for the Cleveland Browns, and uh, here he is with Tampa Bay. It's a nice rookie card. That one's that one's pretty well centered too. It's a nice card. Vance Johnson. I uh, turned the lights down a little bit. I didn't want it to be, you know, too bright. Shining off these cards. Chris Burkett. Oilers team card. Warren Moon. He played well into his 40s. Just uh, like Warren Moon and uh, Brett Favre, Tom Brady, these guys that play, you know, into their 40s. It's just their bodies take such a beating. Cornelius Bennett. Mm. Let's try another pack here. Try and get some of these ear to ear sounds going for you. guard he wears, how they only had just a, a bar around his teeth. They're not allowed to do that anymore. You have to have the, the full face mask on. There's too many injuries. Ricky Sanders. Oh, Webster Slaughter. Great receiver for the Browns. He was something else. Feisty. He was a tiny player, but... Uh, he could take a hit and deliver one too. Mm. 
Morton Anderson. Another great kicker. Kickers kind of, they, you know, they kind of get lost in the shuffle now. You don't hear a whole lot about them. You know, you, you get, you know, Adam Vinatieri and, um, you know, he's the, really the only name I would recognize anymore. These kickers come and go so fast. Ah, John Elway, one of the greats. That's a nice card. That uh, Super Bowl winning team he was on with uh, Terrell Davis. Wow, what a team that was. Dennis Gentry. I believe he played on those great uh, Chicago Bears teams. No Bo Jackson, you guys. Let's uh, try another piece of gum here. seven foot one something like that just an enormous football player he did quite a few uh, films too he was in the movies by the way I hope you guys are nice and relaxed by now taking it easy you guys just put your foot feet up and uh, don't worry about a thing okay Ernest Jackson, Jim Abrett. Charles White. Wow. You guys remember he played for USC. He had to fumble in the, the Rose Bowl against Michigan. Let me know in the comments if you guys remember that. He fumbled the ball. It was well before he scored a touchdown, but uh, the referees called it a touchdown anyway, so they went on to win the game, and you know, that was before they had instant replay and all that, so that was a really controversial touchdown. Andre Reed, Ricky Sanders, Jerome Brown, Ah, Mark Duber, another great receiver for the Dolphins. They had so many top-notch receivers. Dan Marino had, wow. If Dan, Dan Marino played today, I'd hate to see how many yards he would rack up with all those weapons he had. That was just crazy. Danny White, he was uh, 
a lot of you older viewers probably remember he was a, a quarterback but he was also a punter too so could you imagine that if like uh, Tom Brady or Drew Brees dropped back to punt the football wow John Elway. Uh, some of you guys will remember the game between these two. Uh, I believe it was the AFC Championship. Uh, the Browns had the game. They had it in the bag. Denver got the ball. I think they were on their own six-yard line, something like that. Uh, they called it the drive. They had to the drive like 94 96 yards in less than two minutes elway took him all the way down and scored and actually won the game but poor gozar he was just seeing him on the sideline at the end of the game that was just terrible but uh, a lot of you guys probably remember that game one of the best games ever probably the best game elway ever played too one of them anyway biner he was on that team I believe Biner actually fumbled the ball there at the very end. Biner fumbled it. L.A. Denver got it and, and uh, drove all the way down and scored. Richard Dent, another great player from those incredible Bears teams. Four packs left, you guys. Let's see if I can get one more Bo Jackson. piece of this gum here this is that that uh, you know that fairly cheap bubble gum you can get them for like two cents I think at the, the candy store flavor doesn't last very long boomer Willie Call, another great receiver for those those Bears teams of the eighties. Mike Rozier. Reggie White. You guys remember when I believe it was Reggie that uh, set the all-time uh, sack record. He got the sack against Brett Favre, and it's basically the uh, Favre just gave him the sack. He didn't even try and escape. There's Marino. Wow, one of the best ever. When he played, he set so many records. He was just like, their offense was so high powered. What he did back then when he played was just incredible. All right. 
right, you guys. Three packs left. Am I going to get the Bo Jackson or not? Roger Craig, great running back for the 49ers. I believe he was on one of their Super Bowl teams. He was just a, he was a beast. He, he, he didn't try and run around you, that's for sure. He would just run, run right over you. I think he was on one of those, those Giants Super Bowl teams. like that back to back. Charles White. Another Charles White. You guys uh, make sure and let me know if you remember that fumble from the Rose Bowl. Christensen. All right, you guys, we're down to the last pack. Here we go. Let's see what we get here. Wish me luck, you guys. Seahawks and uh, Raiders had the ball on like the one or two yard line and everybody knew Bo Jackson was going to get it. Bosworth was playing linebacker and uh, they gave the ball to Jackson and he ran right up the middle. Bosworth tried to tackle him and Bo just ran right over him, knocked him flat on his butt. That, that was a great play. Not too great for Bosworth, but uh, what a play for Bo. Dan Hampton. All right, well, no Bo Jackson that time, but you know what? Out of that box, 
We got a lot of nice rookie cards. Uh, two Bo Jacksons and and this one here is in like really excellent condition. So um, all in all, I'm very happy with that box. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, pack opening series. I'm definitely going to continue. Um, you guys just, like I said, let me know in the comments if you want me to switch it up to baseball, maybe some old baseball packs from the 80s or uh, basketball. Um, let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can come up with. All right, it's a lot of fun for me. It's always been a hobby since I was little. So um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, okay? But that's it. Um, as always, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, Easter's coming soon, so I hope all you guys have a, a great Easter. Today is Saturday, so um, I'll probably hopefully have this video out tonight. And uh, You guys have a great Easter, and uh, uh, thanks for all of your wonderful comments. Thanks for subscribing. I'm well over 23,000 now, so that's just amazing. Okay. All right, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.